Okay guys, so I hope everybody's having a good day. I just wanted to show you how to do a uh, Cronvax Alpha with SPSS. I already have some data here entered, so I have 10 students that have responded to three different types of questions. So there are three questions in the first group about the first construct, and then there are three questions in this group about the second construct. So I'm just going to show you how to do the reliability calculations on those. So you're going to start by entering your data, whatever that is, all right? And then we're going to go analyze, scale, reliability analysis. So we want to move the items over that we want to do the analysis on. And so we want to move over T V1, so we'll just click it and move, then we can do TV2, move it over, and TV3, okay? And here you can see it says model alpha, that is the one we want to use, and we're going to go to statistics, and so we want descriptives for the item, for the scale, for the scale if deleted, and we would also like the inner item correlations. So item, scale, scale if deleted, correlations. And we'll click continue. And if you want to put a label on your output, you could. That's the only place it'll show. So we're going to say OK. And now my output file will pop up. And you can see that it shows I had 10 responses, none were excluded. And so it gives me the convex alpha of 0 0.907 based on the three items. So that was the, those were the three questions related to that construct. And we get the mean and the standard deviation. We get the inner item correlation matrix. So you can see how well they correspond to one another. And then you can see the scale mean if an item was deleted, or the Cronbach alpha if the item was deleted. And so you can kind of see how those things make an impact. It also gives you the scale statistics. Okay, so now I'm just going to use the keystroke alt tab to move back to my data editor. And I'm going to go back to Analyze, because now I want to use my other construct. Do Scale, Reliability Analysis. So if I click here, hold down Shift, I can get all three at once. So I just move them back. And then I'm going to click here, hold down Shift, move all three over. Now I just want to be sure everything's still set up correctly. Item scale, scale if deleted, correlations, click continue, OK. And now you can see I have my reliability data again in my output. And I'm ready to interpret and see if my measure is reliable. The good news is that for all of these, um, the Cronbach Alpha was showed that the questions were reliable. I hope everybody has a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.